We are right here at the airport of Budapest, Hungary, with my very talented camera lady, Asia Dir. And we are here in order to record some historical moments in rugby history. So this is Budapest. A few rugby clubs arrived to Budapest uh, from Israel, from Palestine, from Italy as well. Some Hungarian guys are here and a charity team called Rugby for Change are here and we spend a week together doing sport programs and uh, at the weekend there will be the peak of the whole event as a rugby tournament. They are waiting for a very unique rugby team, the Bayit Jala Lions. They are arriving at the airport as we speak. So let's take a look if they are already here. I hear that some of the Palestinian boys never traveled beyond their own borders. Yeah, that's true. The, the Palestinian boys are from, from the West Bank. Most of them never traveled. And if they would like to travel, they have to go to Jordan. And from there, they can travel. It's so hard to get a visa for the Palestinian guys. Many of the guys never been to Jerusalem in the last six, seven years. But Jerusalem is only 10 kilometers from the place where they live. Your boys are going to play two times four minutes. They're going to play touch rugby with only one finger, so it's very hard for them. They have to run a lot. Um, they have to play the new um, skills, what they've learned. So I'm really excited to see them, how they work. They're playing a mixed team, so like Israel and Palestine guys together, Hungarian, Italy, all them mixed up. So let's see how it works. I'm going to yell a lot now. <laughs> Rugby probably could, you know, change stereotypes and rugby can be, you know, the common point between the guys that they have different cultural, political, social background, but rugby is a similarity that they have. That's the that's the sport that they share. Push guys my ball. Yeah, together. Okay, okay. We train uh, 2 hours twice a week. Uh, we don't have a field of our own. We, uh, we try to rent a field, a football field, which is pretty much as big as this one, but uh, with artificial grass. Uh, it's kind of hard. <laughs> it's not really as good as natural grass, and it costs a lot of money to rent. Well, we tried to train as hard as we could, but we didn't always have the commodities and the money and the, the facilities to train. Uh, we practice a lot on tackles and defending. And we always have uh, people visiting from USA, from England, from Italy, and they always share us their experiences. And it's pretty much good when people come and they share and you learn. So that's how I, I improve and learn to become a coach. Some of the guys are really playing for the first time rugby, like against a real team this, uh, this time, this tournament. So I just always give them the advice that I had from the first game I had. Just enjoy it to the maximum. It's a beautiful game. That's all that matters to me. So what do you, how do you guys feel about the tournament for this Saturday, Sunday? Confused a little bit yeah. because they are more professional than us. Okay. Yeah, of course, the Italian team, they are more professional. We are three years old. We don't have so much experience, but we will try or do our the best. I hope we can play like professional. It was good to mix with them and get to know them and train with them and they're quite passionate and dedicated about their rugby so it, it was good to actually play with them. They're quite aggressive as well, <laughs> which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, So, but they're good. Yeah, we've got some programmes in mind for Rugby for Change and we want to really take rugby to a street level so that young people in orphanages or in AIDS camps in Africa can really sort of use the game of rugby. Um, in England, rugby is a very middle class game. You only play it if you're of a higher standard of society and we want to really change that in England as well and get real young people from disadvantaged areas playing rugby. So we want to take that around the world as well and spread the word of rugby because, as you've seen here in the last few days, it's quite a powerful sport to bring different sorts of people together. We're amateurs. We came here to have fun. We came here to play rugby. We are playing rugby. No matter if we're playing Hungarian team, Italian or Palestinian, we're just here to have fun. The first day arrived, they were like, you know, in separated groups. But the first lunch, uh, some of the guys, you know, they sat beside each other and they started to talk like if they have a field to play or now, if they have enough players to make a good training or not. And they found like, yeah, we are in the same situation, we have the same problems. I don't have, especially, I don't have uh, big goals and ideological goals with this event. I just want to see, like, probably rugby is, is, is good for something.
one of our players, Ismail. He's a Bedouin, 22 years old Bedouin, that is now here with us and playing with us. We are a very variety team, like uh, we have people from anywhere, like we have Muslims, Arabs, we have Russians, we have Argentinians, we have Romanians. We have Israelis. Israelis, <laughs> Israelis. We just like killing a little bit the stereotype mm -hmm. of each other. <laughs> Thank God, going for this great play, Metal Alliance forever. Hey! Let's follow the schedule, let's follow the rules, and don't forget this is a fair play and hopefully peace tournament, things like this. So, wish you good tackles. It's more serious now. Everyone's given their best. I guess, and the team is good. With the wings. What we say? So? Okay, boys. Yalla, yalla! I was shocked. Last training we did, we were not this good. I swear, the guys they are just 200%. They're not. They show me things that I never see before. They got the lions. We have the heart. Everybody has the heart. It was good. A good feeling, because I made something. Yeah. You only started playing rugby a few months or Yeah, three months ago. I made like 100% in the game. Even I'm injured, but I didn't care. It was a good game. I just played the second half. In the second half, I did my best. I tackled and got boxes in my head, some one finger in my eye. <laughs> but it's rugby, it's fun. Good game. Third place this year. It's big achievement for the Bejala Lions. This is where we start the road. Next year, second. Third year will be the champions, you bet on it. Like half of the guys first game they ever play. And they play like this. I'm proud, I'm really proud. Alliance are still struggling for resources so if you feel like you would like to support them you can always um, contact them and I think they would be happy not just for material help but any kind of encouraging words they would be very happy to just be welcomed in the Asian rugby community you are watching rugby Asia channel to Zilia Park reporting from Budapest for the rugby Asia channel <laughs>